Look, I cleaned my hand. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Prue or Prue Luru. And today we are doing this pink look with this Yate Astro Lights palette, one of the holiday releases. Uh, it's beautiful. I'll come back and swatch it later. We've also got my very first time with Urban Decay eyeshadow primer original. So I'll be back for a wear test. And yeah, all the things that are on my face will be listed below. I'd absolutely love if you stick around and watch. Anyway, let's get into it. All right. I'm gonna assume that my intro worked. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I'm gonna figure out the names of them later and look up swatches because I showed you this in another video. But so this is the palette, then you flip it, and then the names are still upside down, and then you go this way, and I'm just not sure which colors are which. So we're gonna be pointing and uh, doing that. And today is the first time I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original. So we shall be back for a wear test. I'm rather excited for that. So the, first we're going to go into this shade. Ooh. Wow. So I'd absolutely love to know what your Christmas plans are. Um, I actually will be in Adelaide. How exciting is that? I have pre-organized a fair bit of content and it's predominantly because I've got some beautiful collabs coming up and I didn't want like to my only videos to be the collabs so here we are so another thing I wanted to I thought might be interesting to just briefly touch on is like I am in love with watching people do the Jeffree Star mystery box unboxing videos I have watched so many now I wasn't even interested in buying it. I had no interest in buying it. And then it started showing up in my recommended. And now I'm like, oh my God, this is the best. Because it's all people, like the people who bought it are Jeffree Star obsessed. So a lot of them already have the products or they've got all the products that they particularly wanted or they've got stuff in their mind that they did want. So like a lot of people are disappointed. And a lot of people are really excited to get the merch like confuses me I'd love to know if you've ever seen anyone wearing Jeffree Star merch I've been really contemplating I think I'm gonna order some of Angelica Nyquist's merch because I loved oh, like look I love a hoodie to be honest I'm gonna go to a smaller brush and we're pulling into this one now uh, oh, YouTuber merch. Let's segue into YouTuber merch. So the only YouTuber merch I have. Have you got any YouTuber merch? Uh, the only YouTuber merch I have is a Peter McKinnon and James Coffee Co. Uh, hoodie, grey hoodie. Now Peter McKinnon is a not makeup. He's a photography blogger, blogger. I don't know, but he's photography and video making and I learned a lot from him that's where yeah I I used to absolutely watch every single one of his videos that came out and I always learned something from him when it came to photography video Lightroom and all that sort of crap I find him really easy to watch and interesting and I've, I watched I've been watching him for like a year or a half or so but because I was getting like educational benefits from his channel I thought it'd be cool to buy some merch and I love me a hoodie especially one that's not super obvious I'll put a picture up of what I bought it's not super obvious that it's a like youtuber and I've never had anyone recognize it I don't think or if they have they haven't spoken to me so I'm still you know it's the midday breaks. Mm. This is my Dubai Starbucks mug, by the way. Uh, my sister lives in Dubai and I can't wait. I get to see her. She's coming back to Adelaide for Christmas. I'm so excited. 
uh, to see my beautiful sister's face again. Kind of. Ah, oh, they're backwards. All right, so this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade. To be honest, I desperately want to use this duochrome shit. Look, I cleaned my hand. <laughs> anyway, I really want to use this duochrome purple crap. So maybe, yeah, all right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this color all over my lid and then put the duochrome over the top. I'm just, I don't feel like it's got any pigment to it and it's more going to be like a topper shade. So I'd absolutely love to know what YouTuber merch you've ever bought. Uh, or if you think it's just stupid. I actually really like it as a way to support your favourite. But I don't want it to be obvious that as a YouTuber. Because so many people don't get YouTube. Uh, so like, if you're here, you get YouTube. <laughs> but a lot of people in real life have no one. Like, they don't understand how fun this whole platform can be. Right, so I've just cleaned off the brush and dipping into that shade and let's give it a good old spritz and but and a lot of YouTubers release really cool looking merch to be honest I did buy the Sylvia Ganni BH Cosmetics palette and that's honestly because I've been watching her for ages now. She would be one of the first YouTubers I watched and still watch. And I used to watch her ex's channel, Wolfie Raps, because I used to watch... I used to watch Logan Paul. My boyfriend used to give me so much shit for watching him. But I don't know, something just... Oh. This brush is doing a terrible job. Go on with a finger. I don't know, I used to... There is like a positive message to a lot of the videos. But he's also a bit of a dick. I still watch... I don't watch too many of like those kind of people. I definitely watch Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon and yeah, I, I watch a lot of fish channels, which is so stupid because I don't even like fish. Nor do I know anything about fish or do I want anything to do with fish. This colour in a corner. But I'm obsessed with the king of DIY. I love his channels and I'm so sad that Frank died. Frank was a super cool fish. I'll put him up. And I've been watching Ants Canada. I did make a net try Ants Canada. She got bored. But I then started watching his blogs and then I got, stop, I don't know, it's funny how some things like just kind of ruin the whole thing. But Ants Canada is a fun channel to watch and it's all about ants and he has fire ants and I definitely hate ants. And he's got tarantulas. I watched a whole video about a tarantula. I hate spiders. But that's YouTube for you. <laughs> you end up watching just the stupidest stuff sometimes. So going over this underneath. You know when you get that instant fear that you haven't that the video stopped recording on you. Yeah, I just had that. Yeah. Oh well, I'm still going on my coffee. Sorry, I'm going to go see one of my friends after this. I'm like my only friend. She's just putting her child to sleep now. Which works for me, because I don't really want to see the child. I don't know. Her child's cute. Um, I just, I'm not like, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that person. <laughs> I like kids, but you know. I like, I think one day I'll have them, but nah. Until such moments. I'm like okay not hanging out with children. <sighs> Alright, what are we doing? Eyeliner! And this is gonna be asphyxia. Don't just. Well, 
I don't know if it looks like I've just got a I mean it's pink I don't know Ooh. Oh. I need to sharpen this I'll do that later let's do it now alright let's do it again I've sharpened it And we need to do brow highlight. Look, I remembered today. There's not really a brow highlight shade in here. You meant to do. Alright, I'm gonna use this one. Actually, that's fun. I like the gold. I'm sorry I didn't wax my eyebrows for your pleasure. Um, I kind of just forgot about it, to be honest. And then I already filmed, and then plucking and going through the agony. Boom. Mm. I only just had them threaded the other week. That was sore. And I'm sure they overcharged me because it cost me like 40 bucks. We need to do the mascara. I feel like I should just do Lucky Dip. I need to create a Lucky Dip in my mascara to be honest. Some good old eye shots. I'm back for the wear test. We are about five and a half hours. I know it's it's not good. So complete lossage from the crease and transfer, but that usually happens to transfer. And this eye also just complete lossage out there. Unimpressed is where this eyeshadow leaves. Oh yeah, sorry, I wasn't in the mood to swatch before, so I've come back. I'm gonna swatch. And we're gonna swatch. I was gonna do like this row, this row, and then the middle one last. And the lucky last middle shade. So it's a beautiful berry palette with the option to do browns. It's exciting. All right, so I'm not really going to do any more looks with this eyeshadow. So let me just share my quick thoughts. It's good. It blends well. I might try it with some more primers in the new year, but there won't be anything this year. If you're in love with the berries, very toned looks. It's a nice palette. It blends beautifully. It works well. I'm unsure on the wear test outside of the Urban Decay primer and I have very oily eyelids. The shimmers are beautiful but yeah I don't think anyone needs this palette. I feel like you would have most of these colors already but it's nice. It's pretty. I like it. I'm glad I've got it. Anyway thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mwah. Thank you.